Hi there, welcome back to JD Answers. Today I have the Two Guard DAS Cam. This is a front DAS Cam and a cabin inside camera. This is perfect for ride sharing. I'm going to be installing this DAS Cam into this 2017 Chevy Cruze. Now the person who drives this vehicle is, is part of the ride sharing. Now there was an incident in her vehicle where one of her passengers threw up and so she needed some evidence to provide to the company to get compensation for the cleaning and to charge the passenger who vomited inside the car. Now she was able to get compensation if she would have had the inside camera, she would have got full compensation for it, not half or partial. And plus, if there's an incident in the vehicle, you do want it recorded. So with this DAS cam, you will be able to do that. So when you're installing a DAS cam, you always want to start from the camera itself. So on this installation, we're going to start from the DAS camera. We're going to install it first. We're going to mount it to the window shield, and then we're going to run the the cord to the power socket that way if there's any slack well we'll put it behind the carpet in the driver's side or passenger side this video may be a little bit long but you could always forward it to the part that you need either from the installing the wires on the top next to the headliners down the a pillar or pretty much finding the spot to plug it in or routing the wires underneath the dashboard Either way, you could watch the whole video for get full installation or you could just skip to the parts that you really need. Now the video might be long, but the process is pretty much under 10 minutes. If you're new to this channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, welcome back. If this video is helpful for you at any time, please give me that thumbs up because you know I appreciate that from you. Alright, let's get started on the installation. The dash cam comes with two different mounts. One is a suction cup that you just pretty much put it on the window shield and it hangs down the dash cam right here. Or there's also the 3M adhesive that you put on the window shield and then it hangs here. Now this is more of a permanent. Now when I say permanent it means you could still take this off with no problem. It just depends on which mount you want to use but we're going to install both of them. We're going to start with the suction cup first. Now if you're not really sure how to do this, on the mount itself, there is an open indention. And this is the one that goes into the dash cam. When you get your dash cam, you'll be able to see this. And the way you do it is just find the opening and put the opening of the mount and slide it in. And then you could see where this is the outside camera and this is the inside. Now just remember to take these plastic protective covering. Those are pretty much for shipping. That way it doesn't get scratched. All right, so we got them both off. All right, so what we're gonna do is install it with the face forward. That way the screen is towards you. Now remember, we're gonna do it to the left side of the rear view mirror. Okay, let's go ahead and move this rear view mirror as much as we can. Now, don't break it. Just push it up and out of the way. Next, what we're going to do is take off the protective covering from the suction cup. There it goes. All right. So, we're going to stick it on the window and then on this lever lock here. This lever lock is open here and then it closes on the other side. All right, so we're gonna, right now it's on open. That's what we want. And we're gonna position the camera where we want it. Now, don't worry about adjustments. We could do that later. Right now, all we wanna do is just put the dash cam on. Let's get this out of the way. Now we could put it where we want. Now, remember, we want a little bit to the driver's side. If we put the rear view mirror down, we could still have access to it. Now remember, if it's gonna go up, we could adjust the camera down just a minute. All we wanna do is just mount the dash cam. All right, now when you mount it, just make sure that the camera is going vertical. 
All right, now that we got the where we want it, we're gonna push it up more and then we're going to lock it. There it goes. And you'll feel a little thump on there. Now we could loosen the adjustment here and then we could roll it down. See how that went? And we could tighten it up where we want it. Now, once we start the vehicle and we test the dash cam, we could always just adjust it more where it's needed. All right, so we got the dash cam on. Now let's go ahead and install the other mount. We're gonna take off the dash cam and just slide out. All right, we have the other mount. It has a 3M film on there, so we're gonna take that out. Okay, and now the 3M part's there. Now we could go ahead and install on the window shield as shown. Now remember the adjustments, we could always do that later. You could hear that click. All right. I'm going to position this to the right of this suction cup because we could always take this down. I'm gonna put it about right here. Now on this one, this one really has to be vertical. As this one, we could adjust it, move it left and right, up and down. This one, we could only move it up and down. We can't move it left to right. So you wanna make sure you have a vertical alignment. That way, when you're watching your, your footage, it's not sideways. You can see the road straight. And that's pretty much how we install the, the mount. That's it. You take off the protective covering, you position where you want it, make sure it's vertical, and just stick it on the, on the window shield, and that's it. All right. But we're going to use a suction cup, so I'm just going to take this one off. All right, we're going to install this back. There it is. Okay, at this point here, we're going to go ahead and plug in the power cord so we can start routing the wires. When you get your power cord, you want to unwind all the wires. All right, then you want to untangle all the wires and you want to just go outside and just strain out all the wires. You don't want them crumbled like this because it's going to pull weight and it's going to pull the wires down from the headliner. So you want to untangle all these wires. According to the manual, it has the wires routing to the right, which is normal. That's the passenger side. But if you look at this wire, when we install it, it goes to the driver's side. Which is, I think, a design flaw because it should route to the right. Now, what we're going to do is install the wire. All right, we have it installed. Now you see what I mean, how the wire is going to the driver's side. It should be installed this way, where the wire is gonna go towards the passenger side. Now you could always buy these wires to the correct configuration, and I'll put links in the bottom for you for this. All right, and let's go ahead and install this. All right, we got the wire in. All right, now let's make our adjustments back. Let's loosen this up here. Put it back the way it needs to be. Tighten it up. All right, now let's route the wire up to the headliner here. And we're just gonna tuck it underneath the headliner. All right, let me show you what we're doing. All right, you can see where I pinched the wire here. Now this black compartment's in the way, which is not a big deal, because all we gotta do is push the wire in between there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just keep pushing the wire in. All right. Then we're gonna get our blue tube that was provided. And all we're simply gonna do is just push the wire in there with this tool and it goes in. And then you can see how the wire is in there. Now from the driver's side, you can see the dash cam and you can see that wire. It's not pretty much that much in the way, but when I do installations, I like to have them a little clean. But see how this thing is open here? 
but we could put the wire in between just as what we did right here. I'm gonna try to do that and see what we could do. So I'm gonna push this wire back out and I'm gonna route this right here. And they're gonna push it in my fingers and then I'll use that tool. And this is gonna be a cleaner installation where you're not gonna have the wire that was going up right here. It's actually going into this area here, this compartment. So you just gotta look around your vehicle and see what you could use to route the wire or what are better ways to do it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just use this tool and push it in. Now here it looks like I need more slack, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull it. All right, I'm gonna continue. There it goes, there it goes, and it's in. Okay, so from the side, you can see how it looks. Pretty clean, and the driver's side, you'll pretty much only see this. So this looks like pretty clean installation. I really like this. I thought that compartment was gonna be in the way and it's actually a, a helpful installation by using that compartment. Let's go ahead and continue with the routing of the wires. All right, now that we're on the other side of the compartment, we could just continue on and all you're gonna do again is just push the wire between the headliner and the window shield. There's about an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch space in between there where the headliner goes. You're not gonna hurt this, just simply push the wire in between. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. We're gonna go ahead and just simply push the wire in between the headliner and the window shield, okay? Between there, there's an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch space that you could push the wire in. You're not gonna hurt this. So what you want to do is just get your fingers and just push it in with your fingers, okay? And then you could use that tool that was provided with the dash cam to push it in more. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to push it in, kind of like hit it in there. Now be careful at this part because you got to make sure the wire is not tangled. And you want to make sure you're not stepping on it, you're not on top of it, and there's nothing on it. Because all it will do, it will pull the whole wire down. So with your right hand, you want to just guide the wire to the right. And with your left hand, you're simply just going to push it in. It's that easy. And you can see how the wire went out. Again, that's the weight of the wire. It's not on anything. It just comes down. But which we're going to use this A pillar to hold the wire. All right, when you get to this point here, what you want to do is grab your wire and we're going to put it inside the A pillar. Now see how I just touched it and about it, half of it came off? That's because there's nothing holding the wire. And this is what we're going to use as A pillar. Now there's two ways to install the wire. One way is to put the wire in between the weather strip and the A pillar and just feed it all the way in there. That works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. What I like to do is take off the weather strip. And all you simply do is just take it from one side right here, just pull it out and then pull it with your arm here, your hand. And then just grab it and pull it out. You can see how it's coming off here, that's how easy it is. And then you just pull it out. All the way to the kick plate and that's the kick plate right there. All right, now we have an opening where we could put the wire in between the frame and the dashboard, and the frame and the A pillar. It goes right inside there. And then you put the weather strip back on. For right now, we need something to hold the wire. And we're gonna use this A pillar by simply pinching it in there. It'll hold it. Okay, we have the wire pinched here. So now we gotta do is just route the wire inside the A pillar right here. Now we could do this with our finger, just pretty much push it in. You could pull up the A pillar a little bit and then just route it with your other hand in there. Or you could use the blue tool that was provided 
and just pretty much push the wire in all the way to the end. Now when you get to the corner here, this gets a little tight in this area. So before we move on, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the wire that came out because remember the weight was pulling it out. And all you simply do is just push it in with your fingers and to the end. Now here there's a little bit of wire. Just pretty much work it in there. Push it in. Push it inside the headliner. And there it goes. Now, if you see a little bit of wire out, don't worry about it because nobody's going to see it. They can't see it because this black line right here from the outside, you won't be able to see any wires. Since the kick plate is holding the wire, we could just now tuck in the wire between the A pillar and the frame, the dashboard and the frame. All right, you can see how it's in there. That's how easy it was. Now we gotta do is put back the weather strip. And you always wanna start from the top of the vehicle, work your way down for the weather strip. All right, for our next step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the kick plate down here to hold the wire pretty much the same way we did when we had the wire for, at the A pillar. We're gonna give it some slack and we're just gonna push it in there. You see, that's gonna hold the wire. Before you put the weather strip all the way down to the kick plate, you wanna make sure on the inside it's going in right. And you can see how this part the weather strip is holding down the headliner. So let's go ahead and fix that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is make sure the headliner is going in here and I'm pushing it inward. Here, I could go ahead and push it out with my hand. I'm gonna grab a hold here and work my way down until it comes out. Then I could fix the weather strip back. And let's take a look on the inside. And it's going good. Now by doing that, you can see how some of the wire came out, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Just push it back. And don't worry about this part, how it's a little opening. When we finished, we could just tuck the wire in more. But so far, we're still good. Everything's in there correctly. All right, now let's continue down and everything's going smoothly in there. Pretty much what you're doing is just guiding the weather strip between the um, dashboard and the frame. There's an area that you could put it in there. Now you don't want to force it too much because then you'll bend the, uh, the weather strip inner lining. But as long as you guide it, you're good. And you can see how the weather strip is in there. Now we could continue routing the wire on the kick plate here. And all you're gonna do is just push it in there. That's pretty much all you're doing. Just push it in behind the kick plate. And that's it. There's there's a space here that goes from the dashboard to the kick plate. There's always an opening and it goes right in there. From this area, the carpet ends and it goes to the dashboard. Now at this point, you could just pull this out a little bit or you could just simply tuck in the wire behind it. And I'm pretty much gonna tuck it in with one hand. Just go from left to right. Right here, this one has a little um, knob in there that uh, holds the, uh, the carpet in, which is fine. We'll just have to go on the other side and we'll tuck it in on the other side. Either way, you're not gonna see the wire at all. All right, kind of pull the carpet out a little and I'm tucking it in behind. You can see 
right here how I'm pulling it out. And then I'm just gonna push the wire back in there. All right, now we're on the passenger side, left side kick plate. These pop out real easy. Well, sometimes it takes a little pull, but it's just a quick tug. All right. If you get from the back, put your hand underneath and pull out, see if it comes out. If not, it looks like you gotta go to the top. And it looks like it pulled out a little bit already and it's out. You can see how it has some space in between. And that's where we're gonna put the wire. So we're gonna grab a wire and we're gonna put it behind it. Now you wanna put it underneath the little knobs that hold that snap into place. Okay, so I got it in there, okay. And this is pretty much what I'm talking about, these little clips. So you wanna make sure that it's not on top. So what I'm gonna do is put the wire underneath. Now when we put it underneath, we could go ahead and put it back. So again, you wanna start from the back part. And pretty much just try to guide it back. I'm holding it kind of like a downward position where it's, it's like 30 degrees out. And then I could sprint pretty much just slide it back in there. Now before I snap that in there, see how this wire is coming out and I'm pushing it back. So the wire is back of the behind the carpet area. Oh, actually it came out. So push that thing back in there. And we'll guide it to the left, to the center console, where it'll end. All right, and then this is gonna hold it now. Before I snap it in, I wanna show you where I'm gonna route the wire. It's gonna come right in here and get plugged in to this power socket right here. All right, it's in. And now I could tuck in the wire, pull the slack back towards the inside of the center console. Or I'm sorry, the kick plate. And now I could close it. Okay, and all you gotta do is just pretty much snap it back in. And it's that easy. It's pretty much snapped. And the wire's here. All right, the first thing we need to do is insert our micro SD card. All right, put it in there. It's inserted, reposition it back. And now let's go ahead and let's start the vehicle. There we go, it's starting. All right, and you can see now the message, what it says. It says, no formatted SD card. Please format the card. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use one of these arrows. I'm going to hit the right arrow key. And they, they went down to confirm. And I'm going to hit OK. It's formatting and now it says the card is successfully formatted and you can see the red dot indicating that the card is formatted. Now what I'm going to try to do is switch the screens because right now you can see the picture in picture because the in picture one is the inside camera. And of course the one facing out to the vehicles is the front camera. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit OK just to turn it off, okay? Now I'm gonna hit the right arrow and see which is the one that turns the screen on. Oh, there it goes. It's the left arrow. 
that toggles between the screens. And apparently you didn't have to turn off the, the recording because it turned back on again. All right, so let's go back to the main one. Okay, here we go. Picture in picture is the main one. Hit the left arrow key and you get the side by side, which I don't like this one. It's, it's very distorted. So we're gonna go one more. And now it only has the front dash cam. All right, now we're gonna hit the key, the key again. And now the, the, what's on the screen is just what the inside cabin camera. So let's hit it one more time. And there you go. You got the back, the uh, picture in picture. So our, the camera works. The installation was good. We formatted the micro SD card and it's recording fine. All right, I just wanted to do a small break in here just to show you how it looks on the inside when you're driving and give you that perspective of how it looks on the inside and also when you're reviewing the recording, how it actually looks. Now, this is another view of me driving the vehicle and you can see the footage. You can see the clear details in the footage. Now, here's a look on the inside of the vehicle during the nighttime how it looks on the inside and then here it is during the daytime how it looks in, inside the cabin just wanted to show you how it looks on the inside and some driving footage now let's get back to the video so if this video was helpful for you please give me that thumbs up because you know i appreciate that from you all the product links will be in the description down below to purchase if you have any questions or comments about these dash cameras or other installations leave them in the comments section down below don't forget to hit that subscribe button and select all notifications for all upcoming videos because we also do more dash cam installations, we do reviews, we also do some other tech items and some fun gadgets. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe!